The Wandsbeck General Hospital in Ashington, Northumbria, was opened in 1993 as a testbed to try out a whole range of low energy technologies. This 270 bed hospital is currently the most energy efficient in the UK and won the Green Building of the Year award in 1994. So far, it's the only hospital in Britain to have its own wind turbine. Installed when the hospital was built, it generates a maximum of 100 kilowatts. In terms of, of size, it isn't large when you consider modern day wind turbines, but if you consider that when that was specified for this site, the technology was fairly, was fairly in its infancy. Uh, and with hindsight, we would have gone for a larger wind turbine. Even a larger wind turbine would have its limitations. But the existing turbine does make a significant contribution to the hospital's demand for electrical energy. It does its part to produce something like 4.5% of the, the hospital's electricity consumption. And that's not a lot, but you have to consider the environmental aspect of the wind turbine as a, as a renewable source. We need to think, well, we have to provide the intergenerational equity um, by maintaining the quality of life which we enjoy for generations to come. And that, to me, is the other, the other part that sometimes gets missed off. People will frequently say, well, you don't get much power from it. It doesn't save you much money, but that is the environmental side, which to my mind, it's as equally as important. A much larger proportion of the hospital's electricity requirements is generated by burning gas in a combined heat and power plant. As well as contributing to the hospital's electricity needs, the CHP units are the lead boilers for the space heating system. Large amounts of electricity are used to drive the ventilation fans, but these energy-efficient motors have proved themselves to be one of the most cost-effective components of the energy system. Another energy-efficient installation cuts in when heat demand exceeds what the CHP can supply. These are high-efficiency modular boilers. Each gas-fired unit supplies an additional 50 kilowatts of heat to the main hot water system. The advantage of the modular design is that only as much heat is supplied as is required. There's an entirely separate system for the hot water needed for domestic washing use within the hospital. Even the hospital kitchen has a part to play in saving energy. Food is batch cooked in energy efficient appliances. and meals are served in thermally insulated containers. Battery-operated tugs tow the meal trolleys from the kitchen to the wards. Clean linen places a huge demand on energy resources. Laundry from Wandsbeck is driven eight miles to a centralised facility at Northgate Hospital in Morpeth. The hospital processes laundry from several local trusts, putting economies of scale to good use. The energy requirements are high, but with everything concentrated on one site, other hospitals can make large savings on capital expenditure. Wandsbeck has invested in energy-saving features that are built into the fabric of the hospital itself. The foyer design makes efficient use of natural light. There are only two floors, and the sloping roofs maximise the amount of light entering ground floor areas. For the comfort and convenience of individual patients, natural daylight is supplemented by state-of-the-art, high-efficiency bedhead lighting. 
energy-saving devices are fitted to control lights in less frequently used areas. In its first three years of operation, Wandsbeck General Hospital's green approach to energy efficiency meant that it used about 40% less energy than a similar-sized conventional hospital, cutting down running costs and carbon dioxide emissions. Thank you.